No joke, Coco Melon has over a hundred billion views. Coco Melon is a fun show. Let's hope that the medical misinfo doesn't blow. Be woo! Workout, workout, it's time to work out now. Look at those lunches. Yes, yes, I like to work out. Good, good, working out is good for you. All right, working out is good for you. I'm with this segment. See, Teddy likes to work out. One, two, three, exercise, you see. Dad. It's not exercise if you do it for the teddy. <laughs> you got me with that one. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. You see, I'm working out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the dad's work. The kid's not working out either. The dad's lifting him too. Hands, hands. It's time to wash your hands. Washing your hands is good. So first, get your hands nice and wet. Then get the soap, lather, sing happy birthday, 20 seconds, la 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 la, and then rinse. See, see. Oh, don't put soap on the mouse. It's gonna get all gross. Bed, bed, it's time to go to bed. Yes, 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 I like to be in bed. Good, good, sleeping is good for you. Sleeping is really important for growth. So if you wanna grow tall, make sure you're getting enough sleep. Growth hormone peaks when you sleep well. See, see, Lemmy likes to sleep. They have the healthiest stuffed animals up in this joint. Lifestyle habits on point. Sleep, sleep, sleep. This is like propaganda for children. You make them listen to this all day so they actually listen to you. <laughs> mommy, mommy, yes, Cody. I just fell and scraped my knee. Ouchie. Make my boo boo better now. So sometimes they say like, oh, you should put hydrogen peroxide on a wound. You should put alcohol on a wound. Unnecessary. Just put some really like clean water on it. Or I mean, if you have soap, you could put some mild soap on it as well, but like even that is usually unnecessary. It's about irrigating the wound out. And then afterwards, keeping it covered. A covered wound heals better. A and a kiss just right will help your boo-boo feel all right. See, I wish she would have washed that wound out. Cody, Cody, yes, Bonnie, I heard my paw look <gasps> and see. Is Cody a veterinarian? A bandage and a kiss just right. Someone needs to teach these children that you don't need to use bandages if there's no open wound. <laughs> I know it hurts. Wipe your tears away. And they should probably get someone to check if any sutures are needed. I don't think they're called sutures on stuffed animals, they're called stitches. <laughs> Probably need an x-ray at an urgent care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their teacher, it's okay. I know it hurts. Wipe your tears away. A bandage. She doesn't need a bandage. She didn't cut her foot. These babies with these bandages, are they sponsored? Is this a sponsored bandage cocoa melon bit? We'll help your boo -boo. <laughs> Did anyone else ever have a crush on their like middle school teachers? Guilty. By the way, I found out what that head reflector is. Doctor's wearing the thing again. What is that thing? What is it doing? Apparently, back in the day, doctors used to tilt it so that the light from the room would get shined directly into the patient's mouth or whatever it is that they were looking at. I still don't understand how the convexity, concavity of this mirror made that happen and why it needed to have a hole in the middle of it, but apparently that's what Wikipedia told people. You have no idea how many links I got. Thank you. When you go see the doctor for <laughs> That is what good doctors do in the holistic method. They'll check your weight, they'll check your height. Actually, a growth chart is one of the most important factors that we look for when we have a baby, a toddler come in because a baby that is sick will not grow appropriately. If a family's not feeding the baby well, we need to know. You actually see uh, off of the growth curve a drop off in the percentile of the weight or height of the child. When we check lungs, we listen from the back. When we check the heart, we listen from the front. We do not put the stethoscope on patients' faces. <laughs> When we do a blood pressure, you actually have to put the stethoscope in your ears, little Coco Melon baby. You have to listen for the systolic boom, 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 boom. Why do you do the lungs from the back? Because the lungs are in the back. 
That answers that question. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> All right, that was a big no-no. Coco Melon there was using the otoscope, which goes in the ear in the patient's eye. If you do that on a medical standardized exam, you would fail. The otoscope can actually poke out someone's eye if they lean forward because it has a long elongated tip on it, a sharp one too. So you need to use the ophthalmoscope, which is different. It's a flat scope that you use to look into the eye to do a fundoscopic exam. Ophthalmoscopy? Oh, Oh. More cowbell. So a lot of times I don't do those types of exams on like toddlers. I don't need to move around their legs to make sure that their legs work. A lot of times I walk in the room, they're running around, I'm playing with them, I'm playing catch, this and that, and I could see their extremities move. I can observe the child and that's part of being a good doctor. <laughs> oh, baby has a cough. My little baby not feeling well. Check the temperature before you say they have a fever. You have a fever, mommy can tell. And in a young baby, you should probably do a rectal because that is more accurate. My little baby not feeling well. Your nose is running, daddy can tell. Wow, daddy must be a doctor if... He can tell that the nose is running. I hear you coughing, mommy can tell. I actually don't like giving cough medications to kids. It's just like, a lot of times it doesn't work well. Um, you can't use honey in children younger than one year of age because of the clostridium bacteria that can cause uh, the baby to be completely floppy. Um, it's actually called floppy baby syndrome. If they're coughing, that means something needs to get out. And yes, if it's really bad and they need something prescription, that's something else, but General over-the-counter stuff, I generally not like to use it. You'll get well soon, I'll make sure you do. Also, diagnosing a cough in a young child is sometimes tricky because uh, if it's clear that a child has a fever or it has an upper respiratory infection or a pneumonia, okay, you know what the diagnosis is. But sometimes it's trickier where a baby can have reflux causing the cough, post-nasal drip causing the cough, some congenital deformity causing a cough. Even a heart problem can sometimes cause a cough. There's a lot of investigating that needs to happen because a one-year-old can't just be like, well, the thing that's wrong with me is blank. <laughs> Why is it funny that a cold is contagious? Now the mom is gonna go to work and bring the cold there? Mm. I explain twins to twins. Click here, seven years old, adorable, fun time. You're gonna have a better time than Coco Melon, just saying. Let's get 100 billion views. Stay happy and healthy. <laughs>